Ladies and gentlemen, what happened to Jalen Lequeux? Now that's a question that many basketball fans have in their minds ever since he graduated from high school in 2019. What truly happened to one of the greatest dunkers in high school basketball history? Well today, I have the answers to your questions. Jalen Evander Lequeux was born on June 23, 2000 in Manhattan, New York to parents Derek Lequeux and Michelle Smith. And Jalen's story begins when he lived in the Bronx until he was 3 years old. And both of his parents worked in Harlem, his dad at a barber shop and his mom at a hospital. As a toddler, Lequeux moved with his family to Teaneck, New Jersey where he attended elementary and middle school. And Jalen's basketball career began when he attended Mansier Scanlan High School located in the Bronx. And instead of attending his local school, Teaneck High School, Jalen wanted to attend Mansier because of its far superior basketball program. And in 2016 to 2017 season, Jalen averaged 11 points a game. And in April of 2017, Jalen would break out with Team Southern Stampede at the Nike EYBL, helping him gain major interest from many prominent NCAA Division I programs. Entering the 2017-18 season, Lequeux would transfer to the Christ School located in Arden, North Carolina, while reclassifying from the Class of 2018 to the Class of 2019 and he was drawn to the school for not only basketball, but also academics. Yeah right Jalen, you totally also went there for academics. Don't worry, I believe ya. Anyways, Jalen would average 20.1 points, 9.1 rebounds, and 9.3 assists per game, leading his team to the 3A North Carolina Independent School Athletic Association, aka the NCISAA State Semifinals. And he was named the Asheville Citizen Times All-Western North Carolina WNC Player of the Year and he earned NCISAA All-State Honors. On July 30, 2018, Lequeux announced that he would transfer to Brewster Academy located in Wolfboro, New Hampshire for senior season. And Jalen was hoping for a breakout senior season in Brewster, but that did not really happen as he would only average 12.6 points, 4.6 assists, and 4.1 rebounds a game, shooting an atrocious 26% from downtown. But Jalen was still considered as a 4-star recruit according to all recruiting websites like ESPN, 24-7 Sports, and Rivals.com, getting offers from Louisville, NC State, Oregon, TCU, Tennessee, Texas Tech, and UCLA. Jalen initially committed to playing college basketball for NC State as a freshman for the 2019-20 season, but instead, because of his eligibility and age, Jalen decided to abstain from a collegiate career and restate his commitment. And I honestly think that Jalen shouldn't have stayed in Brewster for at least another year because he needs to prove to college scouts and the rest of the basketball world that he is ready to compete in the next level of basketball, which is college. But his decision that he is about to make would alter the direction of his basketball career forever. Because on April 20, 2019, he would declare for the 2019 NBA Draft. Then on May 29, 2019, he remained in the draft past the withdrawal deadline, ensuring and basically saying that he will not play at the collegiate level. Then, on May 8, 2019, Lequeux was a lucky member of one of 77 total players participating in the NBA Draft Combine later that month, and he recorded a freakish 43-inch maximum vertical leap, by far the highest recorded at the Combine, and Jalen would leave the Combine early after receiving positive feedback from NBA teams. But that positive feedback was not enough because Jalen went undrafted in the 2019 NBA Draft. But luckily for him on July 6, the Phoenix Suns believed in him enough towards a point where they offered him a 4-year deal with 2 years guaranteed, where Jalen would only average 4 points a game as a rookie. And because of this, on October 28, he was assigned to the Northern Arizona Suns, the former G League affiliate of the Phoenix Suns for the start of the 2019-20 NBA G League season. 
And by the way, the Northern Arizona Suns were recently bought out by the Detroit Pistons so that they can have a G League affiliate who are now called the Motor City Crews. And I only mentioned that just in case if you were curious to why the Northern Arizona Suns don't exist anymore. Anyways, Jalen was recalled to the Phoenix main roster on multiple assignments throughout the season. And Jalen would average 13.3 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 3.5 assists per game in the G League with the Northern Arizona Suns. Jalen made his NBA debut on January 16, playing in just 2 minutes for the Suns' victory over the New York Knicks. And Jalen would only play a total of 5 games for the Phoenix Suns because they had way too many point guards. When I mean way too many, I mean 4 point guards in front of him like the Anthony Melton, the Frenchman, Elio Kobo, and their rookie, their first round pick rookie at the time, Ty Jerome, and Mr. I have a missing tooth, Tyler Johnson. Man, that's way too much point guards for my health. And because of that, Jalen could not find a consistent role and minutes for the Suns. Then, on November 16, 2020, Jalen was included in a trade to the Oklahoma City Thunder alongside Ty Jerome, the Mr. Spanish Man, Mr. Ricky Rubio, and Mr. Pretty Boy, Kelly Oubre Jr., and a 2022 first round pick, and a trade for Chris Paul and Abdel Nader. And just a week later, on November 25, 2020, Jalen was traded yet again, this time to the Indiana Pacers in exchange for TJ Leaf and a future second round pick. And Jalen yet again, for I don't know how many times I've been saying this, would struggle to find a role in the Pacers, so he was sent back down to the G League to play with their G League affiliate, the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And y'all are familiar to the Fort Wayne Mad Ants because of the NBA 2K19 story mode, and y'all gotta be forced to play there. So, hashtag flashback. Anyways, Mr. Jalen here would average 14.7 points, 3.6 rebounds, and 3.2 assists per game for the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Then on March 25, 2020, Jalen was waived by the Pacers. Then on October 15, 2021, Jalen signed a training camp deal with the Milwaukee Bucks. Then he joined their G League affiliate, the Wisconsin Herd, as he would average 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 3.3 assists per game. Then Jalen joined the Dallas Mavericks for the 2022 NBA Summer League. And recently, on November 3, 2022, Jalen was named to the opening night roster for the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, the G League affiliate of the Houston Rockets. Jalen's major flaw is his three-point shooting and shooting in general because he has always shot below 30% from downtown even in his G League career so far. And shooting is such a necessity in the NBA today because guards are required to do everything on the floor. And Jalen needs to improve not only his shooting, but also his shot selection in order to at least make a attempt to returning to the NBA. So this season with the Vipers is a make or break season for him. So, good luck in your G League season, Jalen. So, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's video about Jalen LeCue. And make sure to hit the like button and make it turn blue to show me that you enjoyed today's video. And hit that amazing red subscribe button to join this amazing, growing basketball family as their new basketball videos that are posted on this channel every single Friday. And I do not want y'all to miss it. So, click the bell. God bless, stay safe, and enjoy your weekend with your family while watching basketball wherever you are, and I shall see you all next week. Take it easy, goodbye.